good afternoon. This is a very raw, um, spur of the moment video. I was just, you know, I take time to reflect and feel whenever I feel the need to. And I felt like I wanted to record me in my prime moment right now until I can share the way I feel. And hopefully I can help and inspire somebody. Um, I'm 40 years old, right? And a lot of a lot of my life, years of my life, I've invested to caring for other people, um, especially in relationships. I'm single right now. My last relationship was like six years or so. Um, and I realized I've constantly given to myself, constantly um, given to other people. And I would give so much of myself trying to receive a certain type of love or care or... And I would get it to an extent, but I always felt like I was giving more than... And not getting that same type of energy and love and loyalty back. So, right now in my life, I've been on a spiritual journey for some months. Maybe all of last year. Um, it had nothing to do with COVID because I'm always kind of to myself and um, I don't really care to be out and doing stuff. I'm a, I'm a home person, so I've just been on this journey just because I knew it was time for me to go on this journey. And so what I did was I just started praying and meditating and just having positive affirmations internally to to decide that I wanted to feel better about myself and just not give the same type of energies that I would to certain things, certain people, certain relationships. I had to love myself more. And I'm and I'm there now. And I'm just reflecting and I was just talking to someone telling them how I could never go back to being the person who I was because that's just not who I am anymore. I grown so much over the past year or two like I look at the things that I would go through put up with even certain energies that I would give to certain situations and I could never do that again so I encourage whoever sees this message to really take the time and and be to yourself and go through those stages of emotions because it's definitely a process I've been through lots of emotions as to why this happened and why certain things happened and why I would even deal with or put up with or just why maybe certain relationships didn't happen the way that I thought they should have. Like, I don't do that anymore. I'm, I um, kind of tuned out everything. The TV... Like, I will watch some African movies on Netflix. But besides that, I don't watch anything on the TV, really. I cut out all that. Like, it cut that all out. And I really just started to do some self-reflection. And it was the best thing that I could have done. So, I encourage you, if you see this video and you're worried about just life or relationships and why things didn't work out or just, in general, you want to have an inner peace because I have it. A, an inner contentness like I'm content and I have a certain peace where I'm just focused on trying to build my brand my business making sure that my 20 year old girls that are in college are trying to stay on the right path and teaching them the things that I've that I'm that I've bettered myself and so that if they ever need to use these tactics to help themselves because everybody goes through emotions up and down it's a part of life but um, you don't ever want to be stuck. And if you can not waste time on something that's non-conducive, that's not productive, that doesn't feel good, don't do it. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that, that I'm just happy. I'm about to wash my hair right now, y'all. About to wash it. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that message with you guys. So, if you're feeling down or if you're feeling like life isn't, the way you want right now you're not happy take some time to self-reflect do it every day um pray if you believe in prayer talk to yourself you know in a quiet space just 
do what you need to do to have an inner peace. And don't let anybody interfere with that. If they're interfering with that, let it go. And um, that's it. I was just eating a breakfast sandwich, even though it's like afternoon time. Um, I just wanted to share that with you all. So pardon me looking all crazy, but this is me in my natural state. And let me show you guys my tattoos if y'all haven't seen this. My kids' names on my wrist. Destiny and Essence. I love them. But yeah. Um, and I encourage you to invest time in doing something that you love. It could be a hobby. If it's a business you want to grow, it takes time because I'm in the beginning stages of my of my business and it's tough. It's tough out here. It's competitive. It's and you have to be consistent. You have to be out here every day. And um, that's it. Now I'm just babbling, but this is just a positive message to love yourself. And to stay positive and do whatever you need to do to keep that inner peace. Because once you have a certain inner peace, nobody can mess with you. Nobody can touch you.